Jones then for Bob Chapman. For the next 19 minutes, we are joined by Vincent Bugliosi, best-selling author many times over, one of the most successful prosecutors in U.S. history, also the Manson family. His book, Despite a Media Blackout, a dominant corporate media blackout, is number nine on the New York Times bestseller list. The prosecution of George W. Bush for murder. Very important that this book uh, go to number one, so it cannot be ignored. It's not being ignored now. He's already been before Congress, uh, boldly saying prosecute Bush for murder. You could hear it gasp and freak out by the little neocon fake conservatives up there who destroyed the name of conservatism in this country. Absolute trash. Uh, and the cowardly Democrats who were basically tw- had their arms twisted into even allowing the hearings, trying to shut them down, but they couldn't shut down Vincent Bugliosi. Let's go to your phone calls. David in Montreal, Canada, you're on the air. Go ahead, David, you're on the air. He's listening to his radio. Let's move on. Walt. Walt uh, in Michigan, you're on the air. Go ahead. Uh, Alex, I have a couple questions for Mr. Bugliosi. Go ahead. Are you willing to uh, also recommend the prosecution of Knight of Malta, George Tenet, and all of the other members of the Knights of Malta that are running this country for Rome? And are you willing to prosecute those high-level Roman Catholics for their complicit, complicit involvement in this false war in uh, Iraq? as well as 9-11? Well, this tumult or whatever you said, I'm not uh, uh, familiar with that term, Walt, but um, at the grand jury uh, hearings, uh, all ty- not hearings, but the testimony before the grand jury, and uh, documents would be subpoenaed, of course, and there'd be investigators interviewing people. All types of information and evidence would uh, come out. At this state right now... So you're saying you'd be at looking, the- you'd be looking at Tenet, though? Well, yeah, yeah, but at this particular point, uh, certainly Bush did not conspire with himself. Uh, he didn't do it himself. He conspired with others, and the two that would almost undoubtedly be prosecuted along with him, and I talk about it in the book, are Condoleezza Rice uh, and Dick Cheney. Uh, I have a sense that Rove is up over his head in this, but the grand jury testimony would probably answer that question. Rumsfeld, I'm not sure about. I have a sense about Paul that his only sin uh, is weakness. But uh, in answer to your question, uh, the grand jury proceedings would be determined with the accompanying investigation who joined with Bush in taking this nation to war on a lie. But right now, off the top of my head, I would say certainly there's Bush, Cheney, and Rice. Whether there are more than that, uh, I don't know. Possibly Tenet also. Mr. Bugliosi. Yes, sir. And one more thing. You need to read a book called Vatican Assassins Wounded in the House of My Friends, which talks about 9-11 and all the people behind uh, it. L- listen, I, I appreciate it. your call. Hey, Walt, we don't screen your calls. We let you on there. And by the way, the Vatican has been against the war over there. I'm not Catholic. I'm not getting in the middle of this. And I'll let you come on and ask your question. But the person you talk about has told nothing but lies and BS about me. So I know the stuff he's saying, he, that is his view, is a bunch of lunacy. Okay? And in the... the Mr. Bugliosi, it's it's just craziness, um, and then so we're here trying to talk about serious issues. You say yes, I'd look at trying to go after Tenet, and that isn't enough. And then people that have slandered me and my family, said horrible things about me, have to then make the show about selling their dirty book. Okay, and I don't mean that the Vatican isn't involved in evil or the Nazis in World War II. I have guests on about that, like Jim Mars, but serious historical people who don't run around. Uh, saying lies about me. So just it, it, this isn't the place for you to do that. Go hawk your bull somewhere else, pal. That same guy says they drop bombs out of flying saucers and it's and the, and the nuclear bombs are magical and black people need to be put in another country and everything else. Okay, but then since I don't hail your God, I'm bad. This is the mental illness of the American people. We have a very serious person on the air talking about serious issues, not quack garbage. I'm sorry, Mr. Bugliosi. I tried to let him run with his question if it was serious, and it just turned into pure bowl. We'll be right back with uh, more of your phone calls from Vincent Bugliosi. Stay with us.